Well, hello, my jazzy friends. I hope you're doing well, I hope you're staying safe, and it's lovely to see you, as always. Today's video is... I was going to say something a little bit different, but I did used to upload little speed builds to my channel about once a week, especially in the very, very beginning of my channel. I used to do it a lot. Um, but it's actually been a while since I've uploaded a build in any capacity in The Sims. Um, I feel like there's just been a lot going on, like new packs and things to talk about. I've just had a lot of things on the agenda and, uh, and building hasn't really been one of them for a little bit. So I am actually really, really excited to do this one today. This video and this build in general is uh, a collaboration between myself and Kitty Cat PWY. I'll link her little channel in the description and also her origin ID because she does some stunning builds, um, much better than me. I've spoken a lot about how I'm not really a builder and I absolutely <laughs> will maintain that here to reiterate it. But as far as my skills go, like for me, I feel like this was actually quite a cute little build. I love this lounge. Like it's probably one of my favorite things that I've ever built in general. I think the color scheme is really cute. The wallpaper comes from uh, the paranormal pack and so does the little blue couch that you see. And obviously there's some little bits and bobs from Eco and Tiny Living. And I just think they went really, really well together. I really love the colour scheme. It's just kind of cosy. I like it a lot. But you will see throughout the house, there's quite a lot of different ideas going on. And I did want to talk about that a little bit. So talking about the different themes in a house, I kind of just wanted to explain my thought process and also kind of how I, I generally think about things when I build. So first off, I wanted to say that I feel like Kitty probably had a very, very different idea in mind for the interior. I'm pretty sure the name of the build when I picked it up off the gallery was like Cliffside Victorian. So the outside is <laughs> it's probably a little bit different than the interior. But for me, this was my thought process. I, I really love builds that are really consistent as far as like colours and themes and schemes and whatever go. I really, really love them and I think they're cool and I think they look beautiful. But if I think about functionality and I also think, I don't know, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I get like quite hung up on realism. <laughs> I talk about it quite frequently. And for me, it's not realistic that a parent and a teenager and children and everyone in a household would all have the same ideas on like their favourite colours and their favourite ideas and paintings. And it's just not realistic. Everyone has their own kind of unique style. So I feel like every room in this house kind of follows that idea. Like all the rooms do kind of have their own flavour. Um, so it's definitely not as consistent as a lot of houses that do carry through colour schemes and wallpapers and whatever. But I kind of like it for that because I do think it's a little bit more realistic and true to life. I also kind of like to think up the kind of personalities of people that might be living here. I think that's really, really helpful when you're building. Um, so you have some kind of concept of like, who would use this space? I think it's just helpful. So for me, like I say, I think obviously with the bedrooms that were built, it is the house of a parent or two parents, uh, a teenager and three children. We'll get onto the bedrooms in a moment. Obviously you've seen the teen one already. I ended up using quite a lot of the Moschino stuff. I got that stuff pack recently. I'm really, really bad at buying stuff packs, to be honest much better at buying expansions and stuff like that because I feel like they actually changed the game a little bit. But I ended up using quite a lot of that stuff pack in the teens room. I like it a lot. I feel like obviously some of the items are a little bit too flashy for just like a family home, but some of them worked really, really well and I liked it a lot. Um, Kind of whacked together the bathrooms. There's no bath in this house, which kind of sucks, but I just ended up using the spaces for other things and there is a shower room upstairs. Um, as far as kitchens, and do you know what? I really tried to do something a little bit different with this house. I feel like I always build in the same way and kind of fall into the same trap of doing very, very similar things. I always kind of build like a corner of a kitchen. So I kind of split the kitchen off into two sections in this build, which I quite like. I love those little mason jar lights as well. Like I think they're adorable. Um, but yeah, the kitchen's kind of set off into two sections, like this wall side and then this wall side. I'm not sure how how practical that is, but it is only a small little kitchen, so I don't think it's too bothersome to walk from one side to the other. And it obviously comes with a combination dining area. There is a lot of plant stuff going on in this house as well, because the personality that I kind of designated the parents in my head was that they were like quite green thumb, quite into nature, quite into plants and stuff like that. So 
you will see quite a lot of that kind of spattered around as far as like hallways and bedrooms as well. So for the parents' bedroom, I feel kind of victorious even saying it, but I finally used some of the shit from Snowy Escape. (laughs) Finally, finally. When this pack came out, I sung its praises so much. I was like, oh my god, incredible. Like, there's so many things, they're so versatile, they're so usable, they're so inoffensive. And I do believe that. Like, I haven't changed my mind, I do still feel like they're usable and inoffensive. But I do think just because they are so neutral and so... I don't want to say bland, but for want of a better word, like, quite bland, I haven't really used them just because... I don't know, I quite like funky builds, I quite like, like, bold things and, like, colourful stuff, and I don't think that they really lend themselves to those kinds of things. I do still really, really like them, but I just haven't really found an occasion to use them. But I thought, you know, parents' bedroom, we, I don't know, they're kind of planty people. Like I said in my head, I felt like they were kind of nature-y focused. So I felt like some of the oaky stuff would look quite nice here. And I do really like this bedroom. But yeah, as far as the usability of the Snowy Escape stuff goes, I don't know. I haven't really, I haven't really used it all that much, but I do really like it in this room. Um, so this bedroom obviously has like a little bed, little dresser, mirror section, and then the little corner area is like a little bookshelf, reading, cosy area as well. I like that a lot. I think it's a nice little room. I would definitely sleep in this bedroom. Again, it's, uh, it's just a very, very different style from the other rooms in the house. Again, like I said, to kind of reflect personalities in these spaces. Like, I feel like the, the lounge was very pastely, very cosy, quite calming, and, the kitchen was, I don't know, kind of planty, but open. And there was some stuff from Ireland living in there. And then obviously the laundry room was very, very laundry, very, very teal. Uh, the teen's bedroom was a different thing entirely. And I think the kid's bedroom was something very, very different entirely as well. Like I say, a lot of different styles. Um, this kid's bedroom was very, very blue. I finally ended up using the hexagon shelves. I want to say, are they from Parenthood? I'm not sure, but I really, really liked them. Uh, they're very, very cool. Uh, this was kind of the older child's bedroom. And then there's the the combo child bedroom in a second uh, with the, the younger two children in my head. Um, so there's kind of a, like a little bit of a clash of personalities in that room, but I quite like it for that. But yeah, this was quite cute. I was actually going to use this little side room next to it as a little study for the older child, but I was like, ah, do you know what? Who needs space in a house more than a parent? Like, no one. So this is where the little flower arranging table is. And then again, I just use it as an excuse to kind of fill the space with plants. I really like this. Again, if you download this from the gallery, you can go and take this room and make it a room for like a different hobby or activity that suits your Sims a little bit better. But anyway, I'm going to whack up some screenshots and show you, I don't know, the finished product. And uh, we'll have a little look, see what we've got going on. So this is the the youngest kid's bedroom, like I said before, kind of the little clashy, one side blue, one side pink. This is the other child's bedroom that you saw a little bit earlier. The teen room, bit angsty, bit messy. We love it. We have the the snowy escape bedroom. I kind of went back in and recluttered it with more planty stuff. So it's a little bit busier than it was. Um, The little flower rangy planty room here as well. Uh kitchen and then obviously very very last up we have the the lovely little living room which I adore I adore it um but yeah like I say it's available for download if you fancy it if you need a little family home for your sims I'll leave my origin id in the comments but like I say the same as my youtube name but thank you so much for watching uh please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you love the sims I post a lot of sims content as you can probably tell and I'll, I'll see you next time